Here she is. Here she is, Miss Suzanne Summers. <laughs> it was just our immediate family, not even close friends, but just our immediate family. And everyone was so relaxed and such in the mood to celebrate Alan, Zeta, whatever you want to call him. And um, it was nice, right, Al? It was probably my best birthday party, other than when I was 65 and you were 55, if you recall. Yeah. We had a big, fabulous. Oh, yeah. Okay. That yeah. Was, it was the 150th kind of party. It was like birthday big, big, combined. Big, pardon? Was that the 150th combined? Yes, yeah. That was, that was great. We, uh, we wore gowns and tuxedos and had um, a big Cuban band, and it was wonderful. You know, you don't give big parties often in your life, but when you do them, you got to do them right. And I always thought we'd be in that house forever and that our grandkids, one of them, would end up getting married there. But maybe in the new house. You never know. You never know. What? So I want to show you how bad I am. Oh, yeah. The um, hotel left this beautiful plate of cookies on the table when we walked in with a beautiful note and happy birthday and isn't it nice and I wasn't find out now I was not Suzanne's good. secret addiction I wasn't okay. going to eat any this of them this is it okay but she will wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> and slip out of bed silently and I don't and eat sugar but way when, mm, over to the cookies mm, and have a little cookie. I don't know how this happened. And then in the that there's morning, a big bite taken out of that one. But I look I, at the cookie uh, tray, well, tray and eat it's it, gone. You're going to eat the pistachio and the salted caramel one. I do? Oh, All right, let me try the pistachio. Mm. <laughs> I think it's pistachio, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. What? See, I don't, the, I don't get the mmm mm in the middle of the night. She doesn't want to wake me up. Because then I'll say... What, what are you doing? Do you want the rest of this? Uh, no, I'm trying to quit. I'm showing a little restraint, don't you think? And what's the other great one? The I salted think, caramel? Think, yeah, it's either a salted caramel. Is this salt, or salted vanilla. caramel or is this um, vanilla? You know, you taking a bite out of each cookie reminds me, we had that peach tree. Mm. And uh, one year we covered it with netting so the birds couldn't get in. But mm -hmm. the birds got in anyway. This isn't the one I thought it would be. And they took one little bite out of every peach. Maybe this is it. salted caramel. I wouldn't have minded if they'd eaten an entire peach. They didn't do it. One bite out of each peach. So what did we do? Mm. The following year, we didn't mm. wait till they got ripe. Mm. We harvested them mm. when they were still green. I'm such we a took cake. a long driving trip. <laughs> we took the peaches with us, and they ripened in the car, and it was fabulous. Okay, so this <laughs> that looks like raspberry. is a... I already took a bite out of that. This is a plate of Suzanne Summers cookies who's not going to eat them. Well, I'll tell you what Suzanne's rationale is going to be. What? Okay. Well... No one else can eat them because I've already taken a bite out of them, so I might as well kind of work on them this week. Yeah, and yeah. And, and they'll be here tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, tonight. The, the salted caramel was the best. The raspberry wasn't good. The pistachio... Yeah, i not a raspberry person. Yeah. In macaron. No. And the, ras the um, pistachio was, was good. And vanilla was good, but it's the salted caramel. You win again, Caroline. And then salted caramel. You think it was? Or yeah, it was. And then there's the cherry pie. You may take that, Alan. Okay. Here I am. I'm the woman who's written the books on don't eat sugar. And look what's going on. That's what happens when you go on vacation. It was here, and I didn't mean to, <laughs> but there it was. It's been looking at me all day. I waited all day for you just to have a bite with you. You know, it's okay. And the chef down there made them home, like yeah, homemade. It's okay. He didn't really? buy them in a store. It's like, don't feel guilty. It's fine. I feel a little guilty. Okay. Well, that's good. A little guilt is okay. But um, I'm so glad that you yeah. enjoyed last night. I could tell. Cause I loved it. You probably know by now, Alan does not BS. No. And he doesn't. He can't. That's why he told Caroline. It is not great. Or I never said that. What did you say? I suggested a, a, an additional way to have done the cherry pie. Okay? How, how did you tell her to I do it? I can't remember that. I have you ever remember, made a cherry pie? I just pie? remembered when I said it, she got pissed off at Happy me. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Yeah. 
There you it go. It wasn't as gentle as you think. No. The searing. Because there's, there's an issue with cherry pie. Like, we all know the Suzanne made you the cherry pie story and you never ate it. So, it, there was already a heightened sensitivity. Well, yeah. it was a timing problem. I fell asleep and when I woke up, I had to run to the airport. No, I get that. But I should have taken. I should have taken the cherry pie with me. Yeah, I, you could have eaten it in the car. So was it George Washington that cut down the cherry tree? Oh yeah. Okay, so it'll be George and myself. <laughs> we will be memorialized forever <laughs> to eternity, okay, because of our cherry and cherry tree and cherry pie. Huh. Well, I'm um, fine with that. That's a good association. They're very good. Now, the other thing we have in our room. Yeah that he got for his birthday are a bag full of mangoes. Oh, yeah. People really know who Alan is, and a bag full of mangostinos. Have you ever had those? Mangostines? Mangostines. They're... That's my favorite They look fruit. like a wooden apple. You yeah, open favorite. it up, yeah. and inside are, like, sections, like an orange, but there are only one seed per per mangostine. And they're and white. And they're sweet. The inside and delicious. The are white. Can you tell what we did today? Yeah. Two sloths. That's what we did. We ate all the mangosteens. They came right. from, from Leslie and Daisy. Yeah. We ate all the mangosteens this morning. Okay. Then we had. Uh, we also had brought some mangoes with us. Okay? Yeah. About thirty of them. <laughs> so you laid in bed, and I cut mangoes, and I kept bringing them to you in bed. It was and great. Finally, you looked at me like. Oh, I couldn't oh, eat oh, any more oh, mangoes. Oh. He said, I'm done. <laughs> but we still have in the little hotel refrigerator here yep. a perfect watermelon. He's this is this is Al Hamill food. Watermelon, sweet organic corn, um, uh, truffle fries. You've had all cherry pie, you've had all your favorite foods for your birthday. Uh -huh. Not kidding. Yeah. And this, if this is anything like the one two days ago, it's the most perfect watermelon I've ever tasted. He knows how to pick a watermelon. Um, a lot of people say if it's got a little light green patch on one side, it means that's the side it grew on. And that's supposed to make it very sweet. I don't no, know. that's not the way you do it. All right. How do you do it? The way you do it is, first of all, using only your knuckles. Oh. You tap on it. Okay. And it has to be a hollow sound. Mm -hmm. Then you look. There's usually sort of gentle white lines on the uh, on the outside of the melon. There aren't actually with this this one here, but normally with big ones, especially there are these white lines. And if they're somewhat straight, that's a good sign. But it's the knocking sound. If you can knock, and come and knock on my door. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But this this watermelon is the sister. Of the one we had the other day. That was the best water. I, I've always, I, my watermelon's fine. All fruit is fine. But when I taste a piece of fruit in its prime, like when you pick those apples right from the tree yep. in October yep. in Germany, yep. that was an apple. I could have been shot. I climbed. Yeah, over he was climb, a fence. climbing over fences. I climbed picking over apples. a fence into an apple orchard. Yeah. And it never occurred to me that the the farmer who owned the apple orchard might own a shotgun. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't do that today. Of course, I probably wouldn't climb over the fence today either. <laughs> you probably would. Uh, you're so who you are. And I saw that with what everybody said to you last night. And yeah. and we're toasting him and clapping. And guess who comes over to our table? Chris Jenner to shake his hand and wish him a happy birthday. And I said, how nice of you to come to Alan's party. It was just a coincidence. And uh, we had such a good time. Bruce was funny. Uh, Violet, my granddaughter, was hysterical. And I love her boyfriend so much. You know, Violet and I have a, yeah. an interesting bond. We're both a little quirky. You think? Yeah, just a little. Yeah. Okay. But then again, I also have that similar bond with Daisy. Yeah. Because Daisy has a quirkiness as well. Okay? So uh, I'm working my way through the grandchildren. I'm going to try and train all of them to be quirky. There's something wonderful about being quirky. Because then you can do whatever you want to do, and people say, why would you do that? 
Well, because I'm quirky. Okay. <laughs> and Camelia wasn't there last night because her boyfriend came down with COVID. So she said, I, ne I need to do the appropriate thing and not come. Even though she tested negative, and I thought that was so adult of her, although yeah. I missed her so yeah. much. I love I loved Camellia. So today is Suzanne Select's day. Yeah. Okay. This is the day that once it comes once a month, just Look at like you, your getting right, right to Pardon? it. Look at you. Right to it, right to it. It's 420. Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> what? We had, can't, we had cookies and pie and parties. <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun, isn't it? Okay. This is this is this month Suzanne Select. God, I love that dress. Uh, Manuka Honey Soothing Gel, Manuka Honey Moisturizer, Bronze Shimmer. These are actually three of my favorite products. So, can you explain to them what the um, Suzanne Selects is? Absolutely. We, we the Suzanne Selects. We 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 guarantee that the retail value will be over one hundred and twenty dollars. Today it's one hundred and thirty-four ninety-seven or one hundred and thirty-five, and the box is never more than forty-nine ninety-nine. And today that's sixty-three percent off. Okay. Losing money again. Show them this. Okay. And the reason we do it. So you try it. Yeah, we want you to try it, and um, these are these are full size. Uh, uh, bottles yeah. and jars, etc. I love these. I love the Manuka honey. Okay. I, I'll use a jar and then I run out of it and then I go to the other kind of moisturizer. Then when I go back to Manuka honey, I go, wow, that's so incredible. That's the, the soothing gel. I have, uh, my skin gets irritated. And this this is so, makes my skin so happy. Show them the, the okay. moisturizer. Okay. Try it yourself. It's a fabulous product, those Manuka honey products. Yeah. Well, and, you know, our friends uh, uh, Guido and Chrissy, who have uh, horses, and uh, they use Manuka honey on one of their horses, and we're very happy with it. Yeah. I'm surprised the horse didn't just lick it all. Well, he couldn't, the horse couldn't reach where they put it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here's the bronze shimmer. And this you'll or love. For a French, a French Canadian or French speaking <laughs> audience, bronze miroton. Shimmer. <laughs> Don't make fun of my French, okay? I'm not. I'm not. All right? Because I'm a Canadian. Yeah. Or I'm half Canadian. You are Canadian? I'm half Canadian. Oh. Yeah. Actually, oh. I'm a, a Polish Canadian American. Okay. Yeah. That's what I, I remember the day that Alan became an American citizen. Uh, we always do everything together. And he said in the morning when he was leaving, he said, I don't want you to come. I said, why? Oh, I want to just cheer you on. He said, I don't want to have to take care of you today. I'm going to become an American. It means so much to me. Actually, it makes me cry when I say it because I know how much it means to you. So he went by himself down to wherever that is. Where was it, Al? Downtown. I was in a huge room in the okay. convention center with 5,000 people. Yeah. And um, he had on a, a baseball hat that had a little American flag on it. And he was holding a little American flag. And then they all said a pledge, pledge of allegiance. And uh, then they threw their hats in the air. And um, oh, we didn't throw our hats. I, I thought you did. No, no, that was the, that's at the at uh, the naval. Oh, Academy. at the naval academy. Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to the naval academy? Not that I remember. <laughs> anyway, uh, he came home. He was so emotional, and when you think about what a privilege to be part of this country, even with it being screwed up right now, it's it's uh, freedom, liberty. Liberty is um, what people all over the world, that's why all those people are trying to get in. It's an incredible thing, and I saw it all over his face when he came home. And it made me appreciate and respect even more the luck I had at being born in this country. By the way, yes. since I'm part Canadian, uh -huh. today is Canada Day. What's that? Canada is memorializing uh, the day they signed the Constitution. In eight, I think it was 1867. Okay, now I'm pulling that out of my high school years, but I, I think it was 1867. 
And uh, that's when they created and signed the Constitution. Hmm. Yeah, that said, from now on, you say oot and a boot and hoose. <laughs> and dollar. Dollar. <laughs> dollar. Yeah. Yeah. You've just won 20 dollars. <laughs> I used to think, what? <laughs> anyway. For those of you who have not been uh, exposed to the Suzanne Selects box, uh, order one. It's a, it's a monthly uh, subscription, but you don't have to join 12 months. You can just order one and say, let me think about it after I get my first box. You'll want to go into the next one. And uh, it comes automatically every month if you so desire. And it started, and you've heard me say this before, it started with the very first catalog I ever experienced uh, was, well, my mother had the Good Housekeeping catalog, but I wasn't much interested. Oh, she had the Sears. And the Sears, too. but I, yeah. you know, at my age at that time, I wasn't. But when I just started making some money on Three's Company, out comes the Tiffany catalog. Oh, and and it's the same blue as Alan's uh, toes, you know, pool. And um, I ordered so much stuff I didn't need from the Tiffany catalog because they weren't selling things that I wear or they, there's keychains, sterling silver pens, things like that. But you know what I loved? I love getting a present in the mail every month. I know, I know, I know, I paid for it, but I loved getting that present. And you used to program it so it arrived just before your period. <laughs> just before you went bananas. This is Alan lying. Yeah. <laughs> but I know you're going to pay for it yourself, but it's really it's really fun to um, receive the mail and go, oh, what's this? Huh. Oh, yeah. It's also our, big, it's also our biggest discount. This, the Suzanne Selects boxes, because it, the contents change every month, but it's always going to be worth at least $125. And... You only pay forty nine ninety nine, but sometimes it's up to like sixty eight seventy percent off. So, for people who love Suzanne's products, it's a great way to collect these items like that. Also, you know, it makes a great gift. Okay, well, so. that's what I was going to say. I'm yeah. not trying to spend your money, especially in these days. But uh, n next month, you'll get this one yourself, and next month you might want one for a gift for your sister, whose birthday it is, or anniversary, or your mother, or your daughter. And then the, the gift is all chosen. Who wouldn't want this? The Manuka Honey Moisturizer. So great. The Manuka Honey Soothing uh, Gel. It's This is awesome. I put this on I get allergic to a lot of things. Uh, I put it on, I, I, I'm irritated. I put it on and my skin goes, I'm not so irritated anymore. So that's good. Okay. And, then, and then this bronzing gel, if I do it right, I, I put it on sometimes um, a little haphazardly, which Caroline always points out. But when I just want my legs to look good in my high heels, that is what I put on. Or my shoulders, or my arms. I use it in my nightclub back. Yes, Alan? Okay, well, Susan says, please yeah. don't make fun of Canada. I've never said jeweler in my 66 years. Oh, you didn't? No, but I did. Yeah, he said I, 10 I did. Ten when I first moved here, I did, jeweler. Do yeah. Dollar, dollar, dollar. I can't remember. No, you can't. It was just came out yeah, of you. That's right. There's nothing to make fun of yeah. in Canada, as um, Canadians are really nice people. Well, I can think, I've got the greatest Canadian hockey joke that I cannot tell. <laughs> okay. I think, you told it. I, I told it. I can't tell that joke. It's the greatest joke ever, yeah. ever, yeah. having to do with hockey. And by the way, speaking of hockey. Were we? Okay. What were we speaking about hockey? Yeah. Okay, I did a because that's all Canadians do is talk about hockey. Well, hockey is the biggest thing in Canada. Yeah. Hockey night in Canada. Okay, yeah. and uh, Andy Bathgate, who played for the New York Rangers, maybe some other team. We did a series together uh, for a number of years. He was a hockey player. What, he was a great hockey player, and I think a professional golfer as well. He was a great guy. And I enjoyed that. However, what are you doing? See, I don't eat and drink everything in front of me. I don't really care about wine, but this nice hotel left me the cookies and wine and two beautiful wine glasses. I haven't even thought of this. Okay, go on. Well, I can't go on. You interrupted me. With I'm the sorry. No, okay. I picked it up to wait no. till your story was finished. No, no, I can't. Andy Bathgate. Andy Bathgate. No, no, but I was and hockey. No, I was and it's the Canadian um, football. 
No, no, I didn't mention football, no, although you know, I could. Well, I could. You guys, will you remember your story, Alan? I'm just going to answer a couple of questions that I'm seeing here on Facebook. Um, you guys, you can, someone is asking if you could just buy one box. Here's how you do it. You have sure. to sign up for Suzanne Selects, which is a subscription program. So you have to sign up for the subscription, but you can cancel it after one. Yeah. So we make it really easy for you to cancel, but you do have to. You can't just buy one box. You sign up for the subscription, and then you can cancel it at any time. And when you sign up, you can choose to get it every month, or you can get it every two months or every three months. And if you ever want to change the frequency or pause it, we make it really easy to do that. You can go into your account, do it yourself, or you can call our customer service representatives who are there from 8 to 5 Pacific time, Monday through Friday, and they're very helpful. We have, have a great... Easy. We have a great... Um, customer service set up and um, he will sit on the phone and talk to you and explain things I, I can't believe you're you're eating I'm not. cookies <laughs> <laughs> I usually sneak them okay yeah it's hard to sneak things on camera she's ready for the holiday she's, yeah. she's rolling into the holiday you know what it is Vacations are like uh, uh, you have several days called. Oh well, might as well. I'm on vacation. She's yeah. eating the one that she doesn't even like. It's that it's that raspberry one. You didn't even like that one. I didn't, but I didn't eat it. I I took one bite and I went, oh good, it's not worth it. I'm okay, so so Sherry Brooks Garlock said, I love that's in caps. My Suzanne Summers boxes. I've been getting them since 2020. Wow. And then she said, happy birthday, Alan. Oh. Love you all. Oh. We love you. Oh, Thank you. So nice. It was such a nice birthday. We had the show the other night where we had his gluten-free pizza, which, as you all could tell, he really liked his gluten-free pizza. And then he got, uh, for his birthday present, a pink Tom Ford sweatshirt, which he really likes. And then we drove to Los Angeles, and now we're staying at his favorite place. And we went to this great restaurant that was like a party. We used to go there all the time when it was another restaurant, and now it's like the people who've taken it over, they've turned it into this great, all the, all the locals are going to return there. Wasn't it just wonderful, Caroline? Oh, it was great. It was yeah. fabulous. And you know when you're, you know what makes a great party? When you're all kind of smashed in, and and there's a, a buzz in the room that uh, you, you can hear, but you can't hear because everybody's talking. Everybody's so relaxed when they're near one another because we're social beings. But it wasn't... Um, if you go to a restaurant where it's so quiet and so serene, that's that's a place you go for with one other person. But we want to have a real... Yeah, and also the table was the right width. Yeah. Because we had... Uh, it was. It was. You were able to have one conversation right. at that table, or you're you're able to have one conversation, or you're able to have side conversations. But sometimes when you're at those big round tables, yeah, you're too far away. Right. You really, only talk to the people on each side of you. Right. Well, I had requested the table in the corner, which was round, and then that wasn't available. And I took this one thinking, I hope it's good. But it was perfect. I talked. I could talk to anybody all evening. And did. Right. Okay, so Rose Montoya said July 1st, 1867, the British North America Act, no, known today as the Constitution Act 1867, created Canada. Oh. June 20th, 1968, oh. Governor General Lord Monk signed a pro proclamation that requests all Her Majesty's subjects across Canada to celebrate July 1st. Huh. So there you go. Thank well. you. Is this the weekend that Pepperdine puts up all the flags? Uh, or is that it, it will, Memorial? No, that's Memorial. 9-11 and Memorial. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. I that's get it, it mixed up. Yeah, they could do it for, they, they really could do it for July 4th. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but we're not doing it. They have money. <laughs> that's a well-endowed. Yes, it is. Okay, they could. She was speaking of well-endowed. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you referring? Uh, can we talk a little bit? Oh, sorry. Were you in the middle of telling the boob story that I interrupted? No, he no. He was doing. Uh, his hands were doing this. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to segue right into Manuka Honey. Suzanne <laughs> <laughs> was one of the first people to at least teach me. I don't know if she taught you guys about Manuka Honey. She started talking about it before everyone was talking about Manuka Honey because that's just Suzanne. 
Um, Thank you. And she was talking about the benefits of eating it because it's a very special honey. And it doesn't look like other honey. It's white and it's fluffy. Um, and it comes from these special manuka flowers that only exist in New Zealand. And it has a ton of antioxidants. It's wonderful for skin care. It is a natural moisturizer because it draws moisture to the skin. And it's antibacterial and it calms irritation. So it has all these amazing anti-aging benefits. So that's why Suzanne said we should do something with manuka honey. And that's how we came up with these two products, the soothing gel. So if you have any kind of irritation on your skin or if your skin just needs some extra TLC, um, sun exposure, um, any kind of like bumping or irritation that you want to help, um, that is where that Nuka Honey Soothing Gel is amazing. also has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera, and it's just a fabulous product. And the moisturizer is, you can just use that on you know, daily or nightly. Um, and if you have blemish prone skin, it's actually really great for that too. So that's just what I wanted to say about your amazing product. Well, thank you. And what did I tell you last night that we should make, I had a thought. I thought, you know, we should, um, do you remember what I said? No. Well, well if you don't that, remember. I was on such carb overload from all those truffle fries. We had every course in came the fries, and then I got picky about them. The third time was the best. That was the best. I got the, our our server was Heather. I said, Heather, these don't have enough salt or tr enough truffles, so and they're not warm enough. She said, Do you want me to bring them back? I said, Yes. So she brought them yeah, back. The first ones weren't hot enough, and the second one didn't have enough salt or truffle, right. and the right. ones were perfect. It, it shows that the chef had them pre-made, ready to go. But then we, they were waiting for the go-ahead from Heather. Yeah, but that's okay because to make great fries, you got to cook right them then. twice. Right then. Yeah. Uh, frankly, the best ones are at our house out of the coconut oil. But we we cook them twice. Yes. Yeah, we cook them. I once. found that you could cook them ahead of time. Yeah. Drain them, and then have your hot oil, your coconut oil, which you can keep heated because it's not carcinogen carcinogenic, and then take your cooked fries and throw them back in until they get the brown color you want. Take them out, drain them real quick, put a lot of salt and truffle salt on top of it and put them right on the table. That is so good. So the omega-3 oils are coconut oil, flax oil, and olive oil. Yeah. Anything else? Um, 10 w 4 no. And uh, the others, like vegetable oil, is omega-6. We don't need that, right? No. No, those are um, those were touted as heart healthy oils, and they're not. Well, it's it's because of the advertising. Yeah, um, I, I you've probably read in my books. I've uh, so many interviews with so many different doctors who are saying, no, um, uh, omega six oils. I'll, I, I give you one of my boring explanations, but I don't think they're boring. Every cell, remember, you're sixty five to eighty five trillion cells is what you are depending on your size and every cell has a membrane around it and that membrane is made of fat pro protein fat and carbohydrate but if it's the wrong kind of fat like the vegetable oils or lineolic acid which is a known carcinogen that that membrane that you make of your 75 let's cut right in the middle 75 trillion cells is now a malfunctioning cell and when free radicals come in like you just go to one of those fast food places and have um, that, that food that's designed to taste scrumptious chemicals have been dying to taste designed to taste scrumptious so we go oh yeah it's probably what's in these cookies they come in the free radicals attack the cell and then the cell malfunctions if you have too many malfunctioning cells as opposed to functioning cells not a good scenario for your health You'll die. No, well, no. <laughs> no, it may take. A well, while. it'll take a while, yeah, but it's while. it's going to lead to um, yeah. uh, putting you in a catastrophic state. Do you realize how often we wait until we're in a catastrophic state before we go to the doctor? Well, that's what we do, except especially guys. Yeah, women are more yeah, proactive fine. about their yeah. health than guys. Guys yeah. say, "Yeah, I'm fine." Or they say when you talk to them about you know testosterone, they say, "I'm fine down there," and you say. That's the last thing to go. <laughs> First, when men are testosterone deficient, you know, there's nice broad shoulders that are so good looking and appealing, their shoulders start to slump. You've seen it, maybe in 
men in your family. The, there's there's like no stature. That that's lack of testosterone. The belly fat. That's lack of testosterone. The fatigue. The grumpiness. That's all lack of testosterone. So when you put the right kind of testosterone and the right levels according to your deficiency the shoulders come back if you work out a little bit not a lot you don't have to do a lot your belly goes down and uh, oh and by the way if you're having trouble down there as they always say that will completely come back but that's the last thing to go the other are telltale signs of you're in trouble well, uh, with the, yeah Suzanne gave me my testosterone shot less than an hour ago. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So it's going to be a hard time <laughs> in the old town, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's working. You know, unfortunately. I'm telling you, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I heard from a friend of mine who said, you know, my doctor said that, you know, we shouldn't be taking testosterone because uh, it'll give us cancer. That's the and, thinking. And I said, you know, that's an allopathic doctor. That's a doctor you go to and you say, uh, I've got a problem here. And he writes a prescription, gives it to you, and you take off and get your prescription. The doctors who are alternative, where they have one foot in allopathic medicine when necessary, and the other foot in real medicine, natural medicine, they say testosterone is a muscle and body building hormone okay. and can i add to that of course the heart has is the, uh, the the largest muscle in your body is your heart pumping pumping um a lack of testosterone in your heart is very dangerous because the heart has more testosterone receptor sites than any other part of your body so when you are losing uh, testosterone as you as we you know aging is about worn out parts and we decline that's your pumping power and so that's why you get kind of fatigued and that's why your blood pressure goes up and that's why you're grumpy and that's why they do movies with Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon remember those guys um, uh, called grumpy old men and everybody went and they laughed because they, they saw it in, themselves in it but it's 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 a loss that doesn't have to happen if you age the new way age the new way as you reach a certain age even if you feel perfect have all your lab work taken to see where your blood levels are and then the next year have them taken again to see if they've declined and so on and so on i always tell people in their late 30s early 40s yeah it's time now to take the blood blood tests or urine tests whatever your doctor prefers they all have a different some swear by saliva some swear by um your urine some swear by blood but and poop yeah but for your hormones poop it poop poop does all a, a, another kind of great kind of testing to see what's going on in your gut but you want to keep your declining hormones uh, in check because you will um, you'll start reaching that catastrophic state before you realize that everything's going awry. Did that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, yeah. You know when we started doing you know just saliva, urine, blood, and poop testing years ago, I they call felt, it stool. Pardon me. Stool testing. Stool testing. Yeah. yeah. I always felt badly about if somebody in the lab. Has to yeah. do the testing, okay? And I felt badly about it, and I thought, you know, is this like you've you've come back as a stool tester? <laughs> is this a reincarnation <laughs> as a stool? Your tester? wife. Okay. Here's the thing. Yeah. I've actually seen a picture of these people who do it, and they're dressed as astronauts. <laughs> right. They're breathing oxygen. They're not breathing air in the room. They're, they're all inside this suit and this head thing, and they're breathing oxygen or whatever they're feeding But remember the job I had when Bruce was a baby? I, it was a nighttime job, so I could take that one. And um, my job was in the multiphasic uh, department of this uh, major chain of hospitals. And so when they checked in, I gave them all their... I wore a nurse's uniform, and... Um, they they filled out all the questionnaires. I bet and you were sexy in a nurse's uniform. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. I was just work. Been. I was just working. Yeah. And and um, in this package, I would give them 
Okay, Mrs. Smith, you go sit over there, and then when you're finished, go, use the restroom, and the um, cups are in there. And they're supposed to give urine samples. I can't tell you how many times I go, no, Mr. Smith. <laughs> it was supposed to be a urine se <laughs> specimen. And I'd be handed a, a, a jar full of poop. But I bet i got to tell you. What? Whoever can poop into a little jar on or a demand. Cup. You can't? They don't have a... Me? Yeah. Even back then, before you were I've like... I've never tried it. Oh, it's kind of easy. I mean, easy. it's a little tiny jar that's big enough to for guys just... Well, to, I didn't want their poop. I wanted urine. But some of... They, I guess you're right. They probably went in there and went, Oh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, it was we, icky. You know, the, for you I folks who, who are having like dinner right, right now. Right. <laughs> what? For, for you people who are having dinner yeah. right now. Oh, sorry. Segway. She's got a segue to get off poop. Segway. Okay. The amazing thing about Suzanne's Manuka Honey Moisturizer is that it's not sticky. It's, no, it's not. It goes on silky and smooth, but we put a pretty high concentration of Manuka Honey in there um, because it has so many incredible benefits on its own, but it it's silky and smooth. Yeah, I and I I, love I I love them both. I love them both, and I use them both. So I wouldn't want to choose, but I when my skin feels irritated, I put the soothing manuka honey gel, and it immediately goes oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think we have to review everything that we're doing today okay. for Suzanne's uh, select box. Okay? There we go. Okay. Okay. The retail value of today's uh, Suzanne Selects is $135. The Suzanne Selects box is available always for $49.99 or $50. What, and what Today, savings is that? It's 63% off wow. at SuzanneSelects.com. Wow. wow, yeah, yeah. Okay. And here's what Just we'll in come. case you have trouble hearing, <laughs> here it is over here. Okay. Right. And you know if you get if you get this and you give it as a gift, it's I know it's a little thing, but to me it's, it's a big deal. Yellow tissue paper to go with the yellow box, which oh goes with my yellow dress, my favorite dress. And um, they open it up and go, oh, a present. And they never mentioned you know I sent it to myself, but uh, I have got a present today. <laughs> The other thing that people do is they buy little gift bags, and if there are particular items that they don't um, yeah, want yeah. for themselves, they give them as little gifts to yeah. a sister or a mom or a friend. Or um, there's, you know, and we the last time we did the Manuka Honey products was about a year ago. Um, we launched them in the Suzanne Selects box, and you guys have responded so massively so that we um Suzanne asked us to expand the line so we have four new manuka honey items coming for you probably before the summer is done but what did i tell you last night at dinner we should make this it wasn't at dinner you talked about doing something with arnica yes yes for bruising do yeah. any of you bruise it happens as you get older and i noticed the other day alan bruised himself he was talking to me, and he scratched his arm real hard. And when he finished scratching his arm, I went, what's that? And I get these little bruises, do you? And uh, Arnica is very good for it. There's little pills, and there's uh, the gel. But maybe we could come up with a better version. So Rose Montoya said, my mother's birthday is July 4th. She's a firecracker. <laughs> She's a firecracker. I bet. Just like me and my twin sister. <laughs> where, where the heck were you, Rose, in high school? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you were so shy in high school. Yeah. I bet you were as I was cute. Shy. No, I was shy. And I bet you were really cute. And you didn't need to be shy. I don't know how cute I did. I had no success with girls. Uh, no, oh, I didn't. Did you? I'm not kidding. Oh, cry no. me a river. I didn't. I, I had. Hey, Suzanne, Pam has a question for you. Sure. Pam on Facebook wants to know what is the difference between the bronze simmer gel and your golden tanning serum? I think that's what you're asking, Pam. Yeah. You said gel or serum it's not a bronze simmer it's bronze shimmer so the tanning is you you put it on and it's a it, it's a it's a tanning lotion you'll stay tan for if i do it right and i put one layer on of the um serum the tanning serum 
and then wait 20 minutes and put a second layer on and maybe the next day I put a third layer on. I'll stay tan for well over a week and that's with showering. Um, the, the shimmer, the, the bronze shimmer is like something you put on over your tan that makes your skin shimmer. I mean, it's beautiful. Let me see if I can open it. It has sparkle. Yeah. It's so beautiful. So, and especially yeah, on your shoulders. Shimmer. You know, I wear those off the shoulder tops. And I don't do it all the time. Um, can you hold it up to camera uh, so that you can see the little gold? Yeah. It has little gold shimmer in it. So it does give you a little bit of color, but it's like a trans a transparent bronze color immediately that you'll get with a little bit of gold shimmer. So it gives you that little bit of like resort look sparkle on your decolletage or your shoulders. You can use it on your face. Um, it's super pretty. And then the golden tanning serum has the tanning actives in it that work with or without sun. Um, so that's how you build a base. Like she said. Okay. Al, can you hold this up to camera? Sure. And can you give me your hand? I want to put some shimmer on your hand. Give me your hand. Shimmer on my hand. Yeah. Al doesn't want to come out and show himself today because he forgot his glasses. Yeah. Or lost them. Oh. Hey, I've got a shimmer on one hand. So, so show the difference between your two hands, and then I'll put this excess on your other hand so you don't look weird tonight. You see? Hmm? Okay, come here. Let me give you a little more. I don't know how I got scotch tape on me. All right. Give me a little kiss. <laughs> Will you? There you go. Huh? Oh, thank you. That's super helpful, Alan. What are you going to miss? Will you? Huh? Look at that shimmer. It's pretty. <laughs> for your shoulders, for your legs, for your back. It just depends on how energetic you are that day. And who's doing the shimmer? And you can use them together. So, like Susanna, yeah. she uses the golden tannic serum as a base. I have both on right and now. Then, yeah, and then the healthy glow box yeah. lotion. It's like a tan extender because yeah. it has lotion and the tanning active in it. Yes. And then the bronze shimmer is the last coat that you put on the top if you want those little flecks of of gold shimmer. It's pretty. Yeah, I love our products. I, I love when you come up to me out in public and tell me you love the products and you all like something different. And I go, I know, I get it. It's, it's, it's like, um, where, where have these ingredients been? What lulled us into using all that chemical stuff? I'm waiting for that conversation to be on television, but it, it never will be. Whenever I'm on any show, uh, the producer always comes up to me right before I'm introducing, do not mention me uh, uh, chemical companies, don't mention pharmaceutical co companies, and don't men mention um, additives in food. Have a good show. <laughs> that was what my book was all about. So they want me to come there but not talk no, about but, you it. Know, what's interesting what? is the hosts of those shows disregard yeah. what they're told. Then they're, and then I'm and in they the tug of war. Anyway. Yeah, it's right. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's all silly. It's stupid. You know. Yeah. I, People I, are operating on fear rather than, you know, honesty. Did you show this bottle? Certainly. You just did. I know. Let's show okay. it again. Cause okay. This is the Braun Shimmer Bronze Mériton. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. There it is. Bronze Mériton. I read a comment yesterday. I don't know why. I don't read them all because I... I'm so busy, and, um, and you I have read. Caroline doing the read. show yeah. after, and I can't read. Uh, Caroline doing the show, she's answering all your questions, so I figure, okay, you're not being ignored, you get it. But I read one, she said, I really like Suzanne. Al, uh, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, <coughs> I have... <laughs> How could anybody not like you? I actually, uh, a lady just said something really nice about me. I wish I could go back and... Pull up that comment. Pull it out of your brain. What'd she say? Well, she just said that she, you know, that she likes me. And she had a little picture of herself there. And I thought, where were you in high school? <laughs> <laughs> you must have had a very lonely high school. No, I had my friend. I had a... Oh, Gibby. I, well, no, Gibby, actually, I don't think he went to high school. Oh. Uh, I have another friend who didn't go to high school. Yeah. And he got into uh, bubblegum machines. Yeah. Then he got into laundromats, all kept, both cash oh. businesses. Oh, okay. And how did he do? And then he got into uh, to, uh, uh, owning horse races. 
horse race, horses that race. Uh -huh. And uh, the last time I heard from him, he was living in Switzerland, in Geneva. He married, and why, he why married his that lawyer. tone in your voice? Pardon me? Why that tone in your voice? Well, you can because you can hide money invisible. in Switzerland? Because he had cash oh. businesses. And he probably never paid his taxes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And then he disappeared into Switzerland wow. with, with all the money. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like what I, I like everything about you, but one of the things I admire about you is you're nobody can catch you in anything because you do you're fair well i i believe i'm a, i think it's important to pay your taxes i do too okay we have you know you call the fire department they come okay that's one of my favorite lines in one of my um uh military tv specials i i um it was right before bye bye baby in fact you can see bye bye baby on twitter if you pull it up and um i was wearing a military suit and surrounded by sailors and they're cheering and I said you know you make me want to pay my taxes <laughs> <laughs> you know if, if, if we had a you know they, they're having this whole deal going on I'm not this is not new information but there's this whole thing about defunding the police or you know etc 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 okay and uh, the police can't possibly come to look after you for every single thing that happens but I'll tell you who can come. Who? The fire department. I love okay. firemen. So if you call the fire department and someone has broken into your home, they'll hear the sirens going off as the, <laughs> as the fire truck is approaching the house. I, you know, my cousin, my cousin Cornelius Murphy was the fire chief, no, was the police chief of San Francisco for m many, many years. And my other cousin, Dan Dennehy, was the fire chief. So I've been surrounded by um, people in uniform my whole life, and but I have you, didn't such. Did you have a cousin or an uncle or something? Who the was warden. A, a warden in yeah. San Quentin. Yeah. Neil Neil McCarthy. Neil McCarthy. So McCarthy, a Dennehy, and um, the third one. <laughs> 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 Murphy, Cornelius Murphy. Murphy. Yeah, his name was Con Murphy. I wonder why. You know, I'm, I'm glad, but I wonder why it attracts uh, Irish people. I don't know. What when do I grew up, I is? thought all everybody's father or grandfather was a policeman. My grandfather was a policeman. His father was a policeman, and my father. I think this is a nice story we can end on. My grandfather, who I never had the pleasure of meeting. His, his beat, I guess, not his whole career, but for a long time, was the all-night beat. And as the story goes, he would see this little kid sitting on the curb in front of his house all night long. And so finally, my grandfather took him home and put him into my father's bed. His name was Nicodemus, and he lived there forever. And... Um, it, it is, turns out his mother was a prostitute, and she'd say, go sit on the curb, and probably saved his life. So anyway, they do good things. Huh. I've never known a prostitute. I don't think you have. No, I never Why would have. you pay? Pardon me? Why would you pay? Well, it's not about paying. I, I would be, I, I'd like to talk to a pro, I, no, not now. But I, I, See, when you had your talk show, wouldn't have that have been a good booking? I don't. I don't. Well, it depends. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, there there are certain questions I'd like to ask a prostitute. What? Like, one? What question? And then we'll say. Well, the first question. The first you. question would be. There are. The first question yeah, would be. When did you right become right a prostitute? Caroline's not interested. There are dolphins outside. Oh, really? Well, no, I just had people are commenting. Oh, on well. It. We can talk about stool and prostitutes. And prostitutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your weird ass family. <laughs> <laughs> you get the real goods here, folks. Well, it's yeah. commonplace here to have dolphins going up and down. This is their route. And when we lived in that other house, we would wake up in the morning and see them. Uh, well, it's a beautiful morning, thing. We wake up in the morning, and guess who would be sitting ten feet away from us on the railing outside our bedroom? Oh, the the bird. It wasn't the bird. Okay, what's the Freddy? Name? Freddy. Okay. He names every flying thing. Freddy. Freddy. Freddy so he'll say he's coming belt. back. Yeah. And I think Freddy's trying to make connection. Well, we'll see I tomorrow morning. Freddy, okay, Put there. a piece of bread out there and see if Freddy, Freddy comes. Freddy would sit on the railing 10 feet because our bedroom was really tiny. 
and we'd be 10 feet away from the, the railing outside, and Freddie would sit there in the morning waiting for me. As soon as I'd wake up, I'd walk to the kitchen, and Freddie would run down the railing to get to the kitchen. I would take out the the uh, the white bread, which is the best kind of bread to feed a seagull, because you can make, turn it into little balls. Are you mixing up Freddie the seagull with uh, Freddie the duck? I did, uh, no. Because the duck would follow you down, because the, the seagull's not going to follow you down to the kitchen. That was a goose you're talking about. Or a goose. That was Jake the goose. He used to follow me everywhere, okay? Jake had such a crush on me. This was, he did. Yeah. This is our little ranch we had yeah. in Nevada. Jake would follow me wherever I went, and if I was leaning down to fix something, he, he'd be back to back with me to protect me in case enemies arrived. Okay, there Manuka we go. honey, soothing gel, Manuka honey moisturizer, and brown, bronze shimmer. I just want to say, in terms of Suzanne Selects, okay, uh -huh. <laughs> we do this every month, and it's never more than forty nine ninety nine. Let's call it fifty bucks. We always give you something worth more than one hundred and twenty five dollars. Why? And they're full. They're full price. They're not little sample deals. We want you to try our products. They're organic. They're pure. They won't hurt you. They're good for you. So today the retail value is one hundred and thirty five dollars. Suzanne selects is fifty. That's sixty three percent off at SuzanneSummers.com. Get it. Mm, yeah. What have you got to lose if you don't like it? Cancel it after the first one, but I guarantee that you're going to really like it Yeah, this like is a, a fun lot. one. Okay, this is this a great This is called a, a, pr a present. Yeah. Somebody sending you a present. It's you sending you a present, but it, you can just, like, you'll get thrilled by it. Okay, so it's time to say goodbye. Yeah. It's 4.59. Do you want to sing uh, goodbye? So long for, and pull your ear. <laughs> yeah, you have to be over 70. And, and you guys will post more pictures of Alan's birthday this week, and there's no after show today because everyone's taking off for their holiday weekend. But oh, right. I'll, I'll, yeah, everybody's I'll post celebrating more pictures by, of Alan's by birthday. Party. Yeah. Enjoy your 4th of July. Enjoy your your great gift of being an American and living in America and, and um, keep America safe. God bless America. And remember, it, it's not who you are it's not what you do it's not what you have it's only about who you love and who loves you and I love you good night and remember we are living in the greatest country in the world yeah